Hello everyone, good day, and this is me, Teacher Koy of Easy Math Channel. So I will be doing a tutorial. At kung meron kayong mga request, don't forget to comment on this video. At kung anong topic ang gusto niyo na discuss natin dito. Wag niyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe sa ating channel. First topic ng factoring sa first quarter is how to find the greatest common monomial factor. But before that, let us first define what is the term monomial. According to the definition, monomial is an algebraic expression that consists of one term. So from the word mono, only one. And it is defined also the term binomial. Binomial from the word bi, so it means two. So binomial is an algebraic expression that consists of two terms. And the last one is the term trinomial. So tri, it means three. So it is an algebraic expression that consists of three terms. To find the greatest common monomial factor, we have to follow these three steps. First step is factor each term completely. And the second step is find all factors are in common. So it means the same in all terms. The third step is pull out the GCF or the greatest common factor, then divide every, ter every term by it. For our example, we have here 3x squared plus 6x. So this is a binomial. Why? Because we have two terms. We have the first term, 3x squared, and our second term is 6x. Okay, so let's follow those three steps on how to find the greatest common factor. Our first term is 3x squared, and our second term is 6x. So first step is factor each term completely. But before that, let's define also the three important terms in how to find the greatest common factor. First term is the word greatest. Pag sinabi natin greatest, it means largest or the biggest number. And the second term is the word common. Common means shared. Kung ano ang meron sa, sec sa first term, dapat meron din si second term. So shared, that is, the, that is the definition of the word common. And the last term is the word factor. Means factored piece. So, kumbaga, hinati natin to each term. Patihatiin mo natin. So, piece by piece. First step is factor each term completely. So, what is the factor of 3x squared? Okay, so 3x squared, so 3x squared is, we can express this one into this. So, 3x squared is 3 times x times x. Right? So, 3 times x is 3x. Then, 3x times x is 3x squared. So, that, this is the factored form for the first term. And then, for the second term, we have 6x. So, the factor of 6 is 3 times 2 or 2 times 3. Then, times x. So, 3 times 2 is 6 times x. So, 6x. So, that's the first step. Now, for the second step, hahanapin po natin yung common nila. Sa first term, meron tayong 3. Right? And for the second term, we have also this 3. And the first term also has an x. And the second term also has also an x. So, ano pang meron? Yung x sa first term, di ba wala na sa second term. Walang x na na extra x sa second term. Tapos, yung 2 kay second term, hindi yan common kay first term kasi wala yan sa kay first term. So, only 3 and x. Okay. So, for the third step, pull out the GCF or the greatest common factor. So, for this given example, our GCF is 3 and x. So, common si 3 at saka common si x. So, our GCF is 3x. And, sabi sa third step na pull out the GCF and divide everything by it. So, it means ilalabas natin si 3x kasi this is our GCF. And, we will write this one here. So, 3x squared plus 6x. Diba? 
then we will divide everything by our GCF. So 3x squared divided by 3x is our GCF. 6x is divided by 3x, our GCF. So simplify. So we have 3x. So 3 divide 3. X divide X. Dalawang X sa taas. So meron pang isa. Isang natira. Then sa kabila, we have 6 divide 3. So 2, 2. And X divide X. So wala na. So ang natitira ay, ano na, we have X. We have only 1X here. Plus 2. So this is now our answer. And to check this one, so 3x times x, so that is 3x squared. Then 3x times 2, so that is plus 3x times 2 is 6x. Okay, so that is our answer. For our next example, we have here 5x squared minus 15x. So first step, factor each term completely. So we have a binomial, kasi dalawang terms. So factor each term completely. So our first term is 5x squared. And our second term is 15x. 5x squared is, we can express this one into this one, 5 times x times x. So that is 5 times x, that is 5x, then 5x times x is 5x squared. Then minus 15. So ano bang factor ni 15? So 15 is, we can express this one as 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Then times x. So 5 times 3 is 15 times x or 15 times x is 15x find the common. So, hahanapin po kung, hahanapin po natin kung ano yung common sa kanilang dalawa. So, in our first term, we have here 5. And we have also 5 the second term. We have also x and also x in our second term. And another x, pero wala nang ibang x si second term. Only the first term. And we have also 3 sa second term, pero walang 3 sa first term. So, our GCF or the greatest common factor is 5x. So the third step is pull out the GCF and then divide everything by it. So we'll pull out the GCF, which is 5x. And then we'll write this one. So we have 5x squared minus 15x. Then we'll divide everything by our GCF, which is 5x. 5x. 5x times 5x squared divided 5x. So 5 divided 5. Then we have x squared here x, so may natitira pang isa. Tapos 15 divided 5 is 3. And we have also x and also x on the denominator. So, ang natira is 1x here minus 3. So, this is now our answer. And to check this one, 5x times x minus 3. So, to check kung tama ba po yung answer natin, so we will multiply this GCF with this one. Right there. So 5x times x, so that is 5x squared. Then 5x times negative 3, that is negative 15x. So that's it. For our third and last example, we have 4x squared plus 6x plus 8. So this is a trinomial, kasi tatlong terms. So we have our first term, 4x squared, and our second term is 6x, and our last term or the third term is 8. So first step, we will factor each term completely. Okay, so what is the factor of the, our first term? 4x squared. So 4x squared is, we can express this one into this one. 2 times 2 times x times x. So 2 times 2 is 4 times x. That is 4x times another x. So that is 4x squared. Plus, our second term is 6x. So we can express this, that one into this one. 3 times 2 times x. So 3 times 2 is 6 times x is 6x x then the last term our third term is 8 so 8 is 4 times 2 or 2 times 4 then we will go to our second step our second step is find the common okay so kung makikita natin sa first term we have 2 meron ding 2 si second term meron ding 2 si third term so Merong isang 2 sa first term pero wala nang ibang 2 si second term at saka si last term. May x si first term, may x si second term, pero walang x si third term. So, walang common sa kanilang tatlo. Then, another x si first term, 
pero wala nang ibang x second term saka kay last term so third step pull out the GCF so our GCF here is anong common sa kanilang tatlo sa tatlong terms 2 so labas natin si 2 pull out the GCF then we will, re we will write this one here so 4x squared plus 6x plus 8 then we will divide everything by our GCF which is 2 divide by 2 so simplify 4 divide 2 so that is 2 so x squared is still the same so 2 x squared plus 6 divide 2 that is 3 and x is still the same and 8 divide 2 is 4 so our answer is this one so to check kung tama ba yung answer natin we will, we will multiply this one so 2 times 2 x squared so that is 4 x squared 2 times 3 x so that is plus 6 x then 2 times 4 so that is 8 okay so tama po yung answer natin yun po yung first topic ng first quarter in mathematics grade 8 so our next topic is the difference of two squares still a part of the factoring and for those who want a soft copy for your reference and for your handouts just check the video description i will put the link there para ma-download nyo yung soft copy and for those who want a soft copy of this video ituturo ko po sa inyo in my next video kung paano i-download ang video using your mobile phone and also a laptop so that's all for today Thank you and see you in my next video.